Where do you find up to $1,000 auto show bonus cash, free oil changes, gas and car wash discounts? Exclusively at Luther Mazda, LutherMazda.com. See dealer for details. The only thing we overlook. live kfan.com slash watch is where you can see chris hockey and Corey cove and sauce and oh, marnie and mark and max and everybody else it's great oh. it's all thanks to quantum fiber powered, powered by quantum fiber your world unleashed thank you for unleashing my world quantum fiber yeah it is the uh 26th day of march and it's uh Man. it's not oh. nice outside it's right a now hell outside, it's a hell right of outside that is correct yeah be careful out there is wow. this the last That's day, though? Nuts. Uh, that is, really sunny, is it supposed yeah. to go away after today? Is this it? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Mostly sunny tomorrow, 26. We get into the 30s by oh, yeah. the end of the I week. Know. But we do have some snow coming in this weekend as we uh, have a high of 43 on Friday. So it might be an interesting week, drive though. home. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen snow like this since me and Rosie went to the VU. Remember? Oh, okay. Remember when that was the other night? Okay. Was so it? much devil stab. So much. Rosie, have you ever done cocaine? I think I asked you this week ago. You've asked me this week. The, uh, emphatic the answer, is answer is no. Is it still no, though? It's still, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. It's going to be about to change. Life yeah, right, is crazy, okay. right? I no. should keep saying? asking just in case you change your yeah. mind. I've never even it's seen It's funny you it. mentioned that, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been in a room. I know people are, people have done it, but I've never been in a room where uh, I've actually put my eyes on cocaine. Yeah. Well, sauce and can get you cocaine by 9 o'clock if you'd like. He can't I'm sure get, he could. He cannot get hockey steroids no, before 9 o'clock. If you want yeah, cocaine uh, here before 9, God, be hot if I Sauce could do it. Yeah, I'm sure he could. Which, he by could. the way, if you're the authorities, that means one of the phone numbers that Sauce has saved in his phone is a drug dealer's phone number. <laughs> oh. Right? Yeah, but you know, live and let live, right? No, they would have to figure out which one. My guess is you have hundreds of names in your phone. Yeah. I had my old bookmaker's number, I think, somewhere. But... Is that right? Oh, that was Did a, you uh, happen a... to uh, share that with anybody uh, of note? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. No. Hey, that do, was before we had cell phones. To let's be do Fan with you. Five because this other story is even to me. It's even funnier than it's you know Tani's. It's so crazy. Man. It's so crazy. Um, okay, we will. Uh, there was something I was going to say. I don't remember. Anyway, yeah. It's time for Fan Five, brought to you by Builders and Remodelers. Thanks, Builders and Remodelers. Oh, thank you, Builders and Remodelers. Look, uh, so the Raptors, Marnie, have uh, somebody named Jonte Porter. Whoever the yep. hell that is. Brother of uh, Michael Porter Jr., I believe. Okay. Yes, you are correct. Is that right? Yeah, that's what Garzy said yesterday. Yeah, I've never heard of him. But that's the whole point, is he's not a household name. However, a couple times in the last couple of months, his prop bets on DraftKings have been the number one bet on the app. What? For, for example, in the game on January 26th against the Clippers, there was an increased betting interest on the uh, under... For Porter prop bets, uh, which for the night were set around 5.5 points, 4.5 rebounds, 1.5 assists. But there was also an over-under on the number of three-pointers he would make in the game at .5. So if he made one, right. the over hit. That evening, January 26th, uh, Porter played just four minutes before he left the game because of what the Raptors said was an aggravation of an eye injury that he had suffered four days earlier against Memphis. So he did not score... Had three rebounds, one assist, but did not even attempt a three. So all of the unders hit on January 26th. Every single one, unders. The next day, as part of a daily report to users on betting results, DraftKings stated that the under on Porter's three-pointers was the biggest money winner for betters on any NBA player prop from the games that evening. So somehow the hottest bet was Jonte Porter unders for threes. Interesting, right? right? No right. red flag at all. No, no. Right. no red flag at all. Why wouldn't no. the whole public Nothing be to see here. Right. So then it happened again. On March 20th, just uh, six days ago, against the Sacramento Kings, Porter played just three minutes before exiting uh, because of what the Raptors said was an illness and did not return. Sportsbooks had his over-unders on uh, points around 7.5 and, and rebounds at 5.5. The next day, DraftKings again said that Porter's prop bets were the number one money maker for the night in the NBA. So two times he leaves the game after four minutes and after three minutes, and those nights happen to be betting irregularities where his right. bets 
are his unders his are the unders. number one prop bet on the app. How dumb are these people? Very. Okay. If yeah. you're going to do it, if you're going to say, Jante, like, don't shoot any threes tonight. Right, right. You don't have it where he leaves the game after four or three yeah. minutes. Yeah. So, and you don't put $10,000 on it. Right. So they, they did mention that in the story as well, that um, there were a sportsbook industry source at ESPN had multiple betting accounts attempting to bet large amounts, upwards of 10000 or $20,000 on Porter Unders in January. Oh betting limits on NBA player props vary by sportsbook, uh, but are typically around 1000 or 2000 right, But right. all of a sudden, somebody wanted to try to put twenty k on the Porter Unders. Hockey just let out a fart with so much bass. I think Dr. Dre produced it. <laughs> Hockey. Did you poop? The best, the best part is completely unrelated. After I did it, Rosie goes, oh, my. I, thought oh my. It. I legit thought Rosie heard it. He no. just went, my God. That's what he said. Yeah. It's like, it's kind of like sorry. Rosie just saw Godzilla. Uh, um, um, I'm sorry to mean interrupt you. No, I'm that's sorry. basically the end of it. Is, yeah. is if, if he, but, I mean, if he's involved in this, they did yeah. the worst planning of all time. The yeah. worst. Yeah. You got to hide it Where's better than this. Where is this going to lead? I mean, Marty, well, you're involved in the NBA. I mean, people. And gambling. Again, Bickerstaff talked. Of, Bickerstaff, who was in town, you know, former golfer, former Timberwolf, Hawk former. Staff, right? yeah, Hawk, everything uh, about him. not talking to me. Knows Great that. dude, man. <laughs> um, mentioned the fact that he's had fans, you know, because of the proximity of fans in an NBA game. So, you know, put leave your starters in there because, you know, uh, you're minus 10 tonight, but I, I you know, you need to, need, <laughs> need to leave them in there so they can cover. And he yeah. hears this stuff, and he's he the first it, coach I've He also heard. had to call the NBA and report a, a legitimate threat, so more right. than that. So he's hearing that, and players are hearing that, that on a nightly basis. They're threatening him. And the Cavs situation is unique because they have a sports book inside their you arena. You that. So that adds a little fuel That's to the so fire. Weird. But I but, feel like it's there's little something brewing here. I don't know if it's ironic that we have these three stories in the NBA – or in uh, in professional sports, mm -hmm. one in baseball, two in the NBA, just all of a sudden bubbling quickly, really yeah. quickly together. Like, uh oh, do we need to get a handle on this? Well, guys, I, I, not to be real, and I, you know, let's just call it what it is. Nobody's immune, and mm -hmm. people yeah. have problems. And if right. if it, um, it's going to get worse. But it, it's going to get worse well, before it gets better. Think it just of the is. college game. That's Hawk, what, yeah, what right. you're talking. Oh. The, the pros have all the money in the world. Yeah. I'm saying they don't need it. Of course, they could still be influenced, but the college kids right now. Well, especially, well, and even thinking about a guy the like. Final Four, I mean, about to happen. And the, I mean, we're watching the Sweet 16 and everything going on. Man, you're telling me that some kid, yeah, absolutely. Well, and Porter, specifically players like that, he's on yeah. a two-way contract. Right. He's on a two-way deal. He's only making like 500. I mean, not only, but compared to his right. contemporaries, he's making 500K. So someone comes up to you and says, hey, we can we can turn that into a little bit more. Why wouldn't you be tempted well, by that? protecting your career because yeah. someone will find out about it. But, the, but if you're Porter not that good, one, yeah, right. you know. The Porter one is surprising for a lot of reasons that, that Corey just talked about where even a, an outsider would go, duh, you idiots, you can't yeah. do that. But to have a brother who is an established player in the NBA mm. with a huge contract, I it's shocking that you wouldn't be smarter about the way you have to act and conduct yourself and conduct your business when you have that kind of a spotlight, even when you're not the top player, you're still on an NBA team and you don't know how things can go haywire so quickly or how this could be exposed so easily. This only happened on two games, according mm -hmm. to this first report. There were only two games. They couldn't even gamble smart enough to get away with it twice. Or maybe they had been getting away with the smaller prop bets. And so they wanted to push it and see how far it could go. I guess that's also a possibility. The other, the other thing I want to know from um, actual gambling experts or people that are yeah, in ahead. the industry <laughs> is... <laughs> Phone lines are open. My, 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 gut says, uh, my gut says this isn't any different than when sports betting was not legal in the States. Because this kind of pressure oh, could have yeah. absolutely yeah. been... Sure, could have been. It's yeah, almost like legalized said. weed versus legal weed. People were smoking it before. Now they're just smoking what? it... it through Who's regulations, doing that? But, right? What's the difference? No. But I, well, I, I got to disagree with you a little bit, man. I, I, the the um, uh, proliferation of it, uh, if it's more available to you, there's more opportunities for people who are well, maybe going to have a problem with it to experience it and develop a problem they never would have developed. That, that's that's very fair. That's a fair comeback. But like you look at the Otani bit, 
that's technically off the books, right? That's not through DraftKings. Yeah, so right, that, that whole yeah. thing is illegal. This one, I, I have a hunch if you are a, an NBA player that's willing to have this kind of pressure put on you, I, maybe pressure is the wrong word, but you're willing to say four hundred or 500000 is not enough, I want more. That's the kind of guy I think that would have done this 10 years ago anyway. Man, this guy could be yeah. getting pressured by somebody, yeah. Rosie, you know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah, but I think the difference, too, is also... But that's the, what I'm saying. That's never changed, yeah, whether yeah. sports betting is right. legal or illegal. Right. You could always have the wrong person put pressure on you. But as Marty mentioned, because now the teams and the leagues are literally in... They're, they're in bed with the, with the betting forces, oh, and... <laughs> and you, not literally, uh, but they are. I mean, you can bet at the arenas, you can bet, and it's it's taken, you know, the I, I bet with a bookmaker years ago. This I, I did it with a couple of people at work. We did. You know, yes! We, <laughs> we did. It's it was very, ever. but it was very clandestine. <laughs> oh, I got my name in the newspaper over it one time. Oh, oh, was, oh my God, that was a story I haven't told Ooh, Please often. tell us the story. Well, Ooh. no, I mean, it was. Yeah, Rose. Um, I had a guy. And he's still oh, around. Yeah. I mean, come on, come on. Come on. Are you in his ledger, his ledger or something? Yeah, I had a ledger. I had a number mm -hmm. assigned to me, like 272, whatever. Mm -hmm. I call his number. I didn't give him no cell phones. Hey. Call his number and say, um, Hello. Yeah, hello. Hi. Uh, get, give me the Lakers <laughs> minus four for you know, mm -hmm. 50, whatever, whatever it might be. And he'd write it down, and we'd after each week we'd meet up somewhere, and either he'd pay me or I'd pay him. Mm -hmm. And we had a bunch of Old people school. that were doing it. It was it was not it was not thousands of dollars. We, I didn't hell, I didn't Millions. have any money, but it was it was it when was. You said still, Lakers under for fifty. You meant fifty grand, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, oh, not yeah. Quite. A buck would be a hundred dollars. That, that would huh. be the only difference. Um, Interesting. But what happened was he he and or his partner Whoa. got busted. And I remember I was in San Francisco covering a Vikings game, and my my uh, hotel phone rang, and it was a reporter from the St. Paul paper or something, oh which is never a good thing. Never. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, ask Kim Mulkey. Anyway, um, oh, hey. and and uh, the guy goes, uh, mm -hmm. we found your name on this gentleman's uh, list, and – I, I was so blown away. I didn't know what to say. And I'm, I was brought up to tell the truth and nothing but. So I said, yeah, you know, we a couple of us, uh, you know, we'd make, you know, $20 bets. So what's really we a little bit more than that. And I so I fessed up to it. And so <laughs> I could have easily lost my job. But my news director was very kind and said, look, just don't ever do this again. And I, I backed off. But, I mean, that yes. was that's when it was literally – and oh, people were right. betting all over the place. But See, it's the beauty it of Venmo, not, though. Think about that. Think about, about your, your bookie, right? Probably dealing with tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> yeah. But once a week, he's like, God dang I, it. I, I got to go, go, go meet Mark Rosen to give him $23. <laughs> no, we what didn't a do waste it of my time. We didn't do it when it was 20 bucks or something. We, we'd wait for a couple of weeks. But uh, Did he go to jail? Did he uh, serve jail? I think he eventually served some time, yeah. But uh, I, I did it with a couple people at work. Yeah, wow. I did. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to name those names, um, but yeah, it was fun though. But it, but um, the difference is, it's like, oh my god, you got to keep this a secret. Now it's like, what can we do here on the show every bleeping week? Yeah. Two weeks from we today, we're going to bet on the Masters. We gamble. We can uh, never do things like that. We're literally going to a casino we're this to, week. And, yeah. But the sports teams are, I remember we were going to Vegas when the Maloofs had owned the the team they, you couldn't even that. you couldn't even <laughs> bet at their at their casino because they owned an NBA team. Wow, uh, that's a, a gambling source that I trust just made a really obvious point that I uh, don't think anybody mentioned. It, what it. what if this is as simple? <laughs> the, back to the Porter story. What if this is as simple as Porter was not involved? Let's give right. him the benefit of the doubt. But he talked to his buddies, and he's like, "Man, my eye is just killing me. I don't think I'm going to be able to go." So they just they just take the inside information as a friend and say. This dude's sicker than hell today. Let's bet the house that he ain't going to score. Right. Or his, his his, right. He can't see out of his left eye. His eye is in tons of pain. Let's just hammer the unders. So it's possible. The, the fact that that's even a possible thing to bet is weird to me. Right, the overs and unders? Yeah, on yeah. a guy that isn't, doesn't matter. You know what right. I mean? yeah. like, like how, how is that even a thing? It's like that, that sets you up for um, um, sedition. Is that a word? I, I don't know. It just, yeah, I think it, it is. You no know? idea. I know what you're saying, though. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like that. You, like... How many times am I going to say the D word on the show today? Right. Yeah. Right. We should do over-unders. 
Yeah, you're probably right. How many times? Patrick am, Best probably does. Am I going to laugh at the juice is loose? Every time. Yeah, I, I hammer sure the so. every time I sure option. So. I sure hope so. Paul, your hands up. Uh, the NFL has agreed to this new hybrid kicking model. Yeah! Oh, my God. I don't know what that means. Please don't, don't try to explain it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, honestly, I would prefer the opposite. I would love for you to try to explain it. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm reading off the picture. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Off the the diagram? Yeah, there's a, yeah, thank you. I'm reading off the picture. He's reading off the picture. <laughs> he literally is. Okay, there's go for a it. Kickoff start line. There's a setup zone. There's a landing zone. Keep going. <laughs> and? It sounds like an airfield. That's it. What happens? What, I think what goes you on? kick the ball. Oh, boy. This is why I. I actually don't know. Keep uh, going. 29 of the 32 teams. Vo- oh, it's not the- do you remember what I told you, Saucy? Do you remember? Shut up. No, no. Remember what I told you about they, what they were going to do? They were going to kick it from, and uh, one team was going to be on the one yard line, the other team was going to be in the other, and they're five yards apart, and they couldn't move till the ball got to a certain spot. Yeah, remember? that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, looks so like, it looks like the two, they kick the ball off from the 35. The other team is on the other team's 40. The defense, so start over. The offense is on the 35, like Hawk said, and the returners are at the I five. That. I caught zero logic in all that. <laughs> and that last bit, pure gibberish. Yeah, the NFL just folded. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Put is the ball the, the 35. Is the point of this to prevent so many touchbacks? And, well, yeah. That, yeah, and injuries. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the, and injuries. Well, yeah, uh, this is a reaction to the touchbacks last year, which were a reaction to the in, uh, the injuries. So, yes. Okay. Yeah. Put the ball to 35 and let's go. Don't yeah. tell me what to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rosie. Let's just go. Yeah, I Skip don't know. Skip the kickoffs. Yeah. Whoa, Rosie. <clears throat> I don't know. All right. Should we do headlines when we get back? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Man, that's crap. Sure. I think it's worth doing. Probably. Yeah, All man. right, Marty Gellner is here. Mark Rosen is here. The uh, the snow is coming down like crazy here in the Twin Cities. Everybody drive safe. Power to Morning Show returns after this on the fan. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox starting at 7 p.m. and listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla Aprenolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly good. Com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Global music superstar Usher presents Past, Present, Future. Usher live at Target Center Saturday, November 2nd. And due to demand, a second show added on Sunday, November 3rd. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Hey, it's Chris Hockey for Livia Weight Control Centers. The weather has been great, and it's going to get even better. So get spring ready the Livia Way and lose up to 10 pounds in your first two weeks. When you join Livia, you're going to receive a personalized and doctor-recommended program tailored to your unique needs, goals, and lifestyle. Livia's amazing team of registered dietitians and nutritionists are going to guide you every step of the way, providing you with the tools, support, and motivation you need to succeed. Join Livia today. You'll get your first three months for free. As a brand ambassador for Livia, I really appreciated that one-on-one support I was talking about. That was the game changer for me. I got to the point where I looked forward to going into the Minnetonka location every week and weighing in, getting a pat on the back or some encouragement when things were tough. Join Livia today and get your first three months for free. Just visit Livia.com. That's L-I-V-E-A, Livia.com, or call 855-GO-LIVIA. Livia is now offering breakthrough weight loss medication options. Visit Livia.com or call 855-GO-LIVIA. Get spring ready the Livia way. St. Paul Saints baseball is almost here. Come join us for hijinks, shenanigans, and all the Twins' top prospects. Single game tickets are now on sale. Opening day, March 29th. Visit saintsbaseball.com for more information. Fun is good. 
It's what we do. It's Ben Lieber here for Evans. Is your organization looking for a trusted logistics partner? Visit EvansTrans.com right now to learn about the Evans experience. Think about it. It's trucking. When you're dealing with a trucker, you need a caring human being on the other end of the line. And that's Evans. EvansTrans.com. EvansTrans.com. This is NASCAR driver Tony Breidinger inviting you to make a pit stop at Raising Cane's for my favorite craveable chicken fingers. Turbocharge your order and get it even faster when you order online or with the Raising Cane's app. Raising Cane's chicken fingers. One love. Raising Cane's is not affiliated with NASCAR. Meat sauce here for my friends at Window Nation and WindowNation.com. The best place to get windows. As you look out your windows right now and you go, man, the snow is uh, really coming down. This is hideous to look at. You go, I can't wait for spring. Or if you look out your windows, you're like, man, I can't see out of my windows. Why are my windows so banged up and cracked? Well, that's because you have hideous windows. Get the best windows of all time from Window Nation and WindowNation.com. You get two free windows with every two you buy. There is no limit. Plus, you pay nothing for 24 months. It's the best deal in Windows. It's the best deal of all time. Window Nation, WindowNation.com is the place to go. They are awesome. Every window goes through a massive inspection, even after they put them in. There's an even larger ex- inspection that they go through. They are professional and awesome at what they do. Window Nation, WindowNation.com. You get two free windows with every two you buy. There is no limit. Plus, you pay nothing for two full years. Go to windownation.com. That's windownation.com. Tell them Sauce sent you. Bye. You're free now. Free to stream beyond your wildest dreams. Free to be everything you imagine, and then some. That's how it feels to have Quantum Fiber. Your world unleashed. Learn more at quantumfiber.com. Limited availability. Service in select locations only. Close circuit to business owners out there, I need to tell you about American Pressure. They provide industrial hot water and cold water pressure washers, and they support what they sell with quality service, the right accessories, and second-to-none industry knowledge. Ben, tell us about your company. Dan, American Pressure has been a family-owned and operated business since before I was born. Our dedicated staff will come to you to help you make the right call for your needs. A great Minnesota company. Call them today, AmericanPressure.com. Say it, don't say it. You're listening live to The Power Trip on iHeartRadio and FM 100.3 KFAN, The Fan. Hey, a little uh, shopping tip for all you people out there. On a morning like this morning when it's, uh, it's just a hell out here in the Twin Cities. I mean, it's snowing sideways. It's pretty beautiful. But uh, if you're one of those folks out there who say to yourself, man, I need a new coat or my kids need a new coat or whatever like that. Let me give you a little pro tip. I went to Maple Grove's Sierra yesterday. If you guys have never been to a Sierra store, oh my God. Yeah, they're sweet. They're the great. There's one in Eden get, Prairie. Yep, good I, store. I can't even believe how great the deals are on really good coats, man. Like, you know, North Face and stuff like that and jackets and, and everything. So Sierra, man, if you've never been to one, I encourage you. Kind of like a high-end Burlington almost, yeah, yeah, isn't right. it? Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Man, I tell you, Rosie, you you wouldn't believe it. I look good. I, I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so check it out. There you go. That's my tip. Duh. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Now it's time for Headlines. What are you saying there, Rosso? Oh, hang on one second. Uh, the fan who, who I mentioned got kicked out of the game on Friday night. Yeah. If I want to believe that he, he he's the one, sounds very realistic, uh, just tweeted at me oh, along no. with the power trip and said, I heard you talking about the fan who got kicked out on Friday. Kevin all, all I said, <laughs> All I said was, quote, the spread is seven and, high, seven and a half JB with no profanities or threats. He's as soft as Charmin. Whoa. Whoa. And he, so I remember, J- and he wasn't like but emphatically, he, had- he turned around and said something, and I don't know, is that... If that's the case, yeah. he shouldn't have been kicked out. No, sure. no, not for that. If no. that's actually the guy. And I thought be. it was higher than seven and a half, but that's just me. No, I'm I, just kidding. I see, had no I, idea what dude, the spread I, was. I don't know if that's the real guy or not. I, I, just I don't got, know. I got an email from the guy. It said Rosie was just talking about me. I got kicked out for saying, show me them boobies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so Rosie, why did you yell that at a sporting event? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. This <laughs> may, uh, one of these two is lying. inappropriate. <laughs> One of these two people's that. lying, Marnes. Uh, I don't. I can't tell which one. No, it's really the toss-up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Headlines is brought to you by okay. Wolf River Electric. You can go solar with Wolf River Electric. Ain't that the truth? Wobble, wobble. Yeah, shout <laughs> out to Wolf River. We're going to bring him into it. 
Uh, it's stressful out there because the snow is coming down like crazy. According to a new survey slash study, the most stressed states, that's hard to say, in 2024 in the U.S., Louisiana, Mississippi, and I wonder why, Nevada. Hmm. Oh, the man. least stressed the Montana. state of Minnesota. Oh, is Minnesota? it really? really? Minnesota. Least oh. Thank you. Oh. Crit- <laughs> any specific criteria? Vibe. Don't know. <laughs> okay. All right, that's the headline. Yes. Yeah. How about this? Good week for Minnesota. Oh, good. Um, remember, it was International Waffle Day a day or two ago, right? Oh, yeah. Waffle, waffle. So good. <laughs> According to a recent survey, the top waffle. states for waffles in the country are Vermont, Utah, and Minnesota. Man, we're we're killing it. We don't have any waffle houses here, though. That's true. We got Good Day Cafe, and we don't have any yeah. stress. Yeah. Waffles are better yeah. when you're yeah. stress free. That's so true. Man, do I love a waffle. That's, you're the, the best. The top pancake states are Hawaii, Utah, Oregon. Hmm. Whatever. So Utah apparently top for both pancakes hey, and waffles. Pancakes are fine. Give me a waffle every time. I'm 100%. Yep. I love pancakes, yep. but uh, waffle, waffles are better. <laughs> Speaking of waffles, <laughs> Canada's syrup reserves are at a 16-year low. But Son it, of a uh, bitch. But for now, is not going to affect any prices <laughs> because Canada is the only country in the world that maintains a reserve of maple syrup. Oh, thank God. Oh. What was that show on Netflix? Was it called like Dirty Money or something? They did a whole yeah, breakdown yeah, yeah. about the maple, maple syrup, syrup yeah, yeah, yeah. heist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stealing maple syrup because it's worth a lot of money. Yeah, sure is. Go for it. Um, <laughs> I was going to say something. Forget it. Go ahead, buddy. Was uh, it a joke? If it was, well, uh, no, if it was, was entertaining say, or all, interesting, all it, say I it. have to take in consideration where I'm at and who I'm working with. Yeah. Because I, I had good friends, including the Honorable Alan Page, sure. who loves to make his own gets his own maple syrup mm. and so i was going to say something to the effect about tapping a tree uh-huh. martin bar uh-huh. and poor anthony <laughs> i mean i've heard of tree huggers but yeah man i tell you what Hawk. you know what don't talk about the bark i'm not gonna say anything about bark i'm not gonna say i'm just saying sometimes you got to make your own syrup buddy <laughs> rosie, okay see this is rosie give me a list of do, things Marnes. you can tap <laughs> You do, because they're out of reserves. Yeah. They're out of reserves. You never know, yeah. Marnes. And so Could you be a gross be prepared. Rosa. A beer. Sometimes Marnes, you, you got to start your day with minutes. it. I, haven't heard, I didn't even know you were still here. How, what's going on? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Listening. Marnes. Oh. Yeah, just listening. How are just... you, stranger? <laughs> <laughs> all right. For just five seconds, all of you stop lying and be honest. I can't. Uh, okay. <laughs> How many random acts of kindness do you think you perform on a weekly basis where you would say i didn't have to do that but i just did it mm, good question good question good question is it a thousand is it zero a, is it maybe a week one? yeah a week well could it be as little as like holding the door, door or correct yeah, what about just like hey nice shirt man yeah that's well, true yeah. normally says nice blouse I sure do. I like well, blouses. Let me preface it. Maybe this can help your guess. A recent poll found that 84% of Americans go out of their way to, quote, pay it forward whenever they can. Hmm. And the average person estimates they have blank, generous, random acts of kindness okay. a week. Well, that's tough. Generous. Generous, wow. a generous week? random acts of kindness. I bet I do one. I was one a week? Say yeah. One. I try to. Yeah. Sometimes I forget to be kind. Yeah, some like people I just don't have the opportunity at times. Right. That, that yeah. happens too. Yeah. It's just a normal day. And either people have a lower bar for what a generous random act yeah. of kindness is, or wow. everybody wow. thinks they're better than they are. Because according to this survey, the average person thinks they do it five times oh, a week, almost two hundred and sixty times a year. What? That's and not you've true. even There's said no way. that the pay it forward bit is fake charity. I, I hate those pay it forward lines. It's forced. It is you true. hate kindness. Yeah. I hate kindness. I hate you happiness. Really do. I hate wobble, people not wobble. gambling. <laughs> we play that again. Since we can't play music anymore. Uh, there's supposedly an actual law in Scotland. Somebody can uh, verify this if you want, but this is what the story says. Where any man who gets caught wearing underwear under his kilt can be fined two cans of beer. Man. Hmm. Yeah. What a fine. You got to let those boys flow. <laughs> You'd wear one, right, Hawk? Let him breathe, buddy. <laughs> Didn't you say you'd wear a skirt? What a yeah, absolutely. Listen. And the interesting part of that story is the fine. <laughs> yeah, right. Wow, I've heard, wow, I, I'm, wow. It says on Google, it doesn't seem like it's a, a law, but it's a tradition. Oh, is that uh, right? So okay. someone, you know, gives you the old yeah. looky here, yeah, the up skirt, and Why they find we... out that they see some things dangling, and you owe them two beers. Yeah, man. Why mm. wear, I mean, let the music sure. play. Yeah. You know what I mean? Correct. Thanks, Fraggle Rock. Yeah. <laughs> Right?
Uh, Scarlett Johansson is in talks to be in the new uh, Jurassic the World new. movie. <laughs> the new. The new. Uh, which, by the way, if she's replacing Jurassic. What's her name? Bryce Dallas Howard. She's the worst, one of the worst actresses. Aww. If she's Correct. replacing Bryce Horrible. Dallas Howard, that's a huge she's, upgrade. So is the, uh, the other one that's the daughter of those two people. Huh? I know exactly. There's a lot of people who are the daughter Madam of Madam Web people. Lady. Madam Web. Dakota Johnson? Yeah, her and Bryce Dallas Howard are two. They should, acting Dakota took Johnson's 200. Dakota Johnson's bad. Oh, my God. She's awful. <laughs> <laughs> who told you that? Fifty Shades of What? Nobody. I'm just saying. A okay. guy I went to high school with met her once. Wait, said Scarlett, she was a total prick. <laughs> I guess the headline is they're making another it. Jurassic. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're all making a ton of money, yeah, so why are. not? Right. That last one was just... And, right, the last right. two. As we've always oh, said, my God. when we talk about that film, Hawk hated it, so it has to be I've changed the my mind. armpit of America. <laughs> <laughs> I like it So now. they said, let's make another one. Yeah. Yeah. Why are they making so much money if they're terrible That's movies? the question, right? I mean, Love they've made over, <laughs> what, haven't they made 10 or 11 Fast and the Furious movies? Yeah, Hawk loves yeah. it. Yeah, What's your favorite one, Hawk? Uh, well, number four, the one in Japan. That's the best one. Tokyo Drift. That's yeah, the best. Yeah. Yeah. I loved it. Uh, speaking of uh, Japan, tonight, episode six of Shogun oh, on FX. Yeah, oh, baby. I so good, that. dude. I just started last night. Why can't you? Night. Why can't you? I can. I just haven't. Whoa, whoa. I, I can't. I just haven't got around to it. I've been okay. watching The Gentleman. That's what I've been. Yeah, yeah. We've been watching that on Netflix, and we have, like, three more episodes to go, and, and uh. Did you just say you've been washing the gentleman? Is that a new voice? <laughs> Lawyer or, Lambert has a fat. Is that an urban dictionary? You know that. Yeah, yes, you're right. I do. Oh, uh, Marty, you haven't spoken at all. Why does my dad need a bath? <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want to know, buddy. You don't want to know. All right, a whole bunch of cool movie <laughs> stuff went up for auction. Here's uh, here's some things, and here's what they went for. Give her hell. Uh, Indiana Jones's whip from Temple of Doom. Five hundred and twenty-five thousand oh, dollars. That's priceless. That's a really that good deal. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's sweet. sweet. So yeah, a little over a half a mil for uh, Indiana Jones' wow. whip. Would you buy that, Marzi? <laughs> I've got a whip. I don't. Wow. Hey. Tie down. I don't think it's his car. Oh, brilliant! Well played, huh? <laughs> think You're you see how I was with the kids today? <laughs> yeah. See. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bill Murray's bowling ball from Kingpin, oh, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's awesome. That is that, that kicks I would ass. Buy. Ernie McCracken's bowling ball. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. I'd rather that's have pretty part. niche, but it's awesome. I'd rather have the dude's bowling ball. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Uh, McCracken's a little more iconic right. though, right? In it terms is. of the actual yeah. ball itself. Exactly. No, right. Yeah, more right. identifiable. Yeah, right. Man. This one's a weird one for me. Speaking of Jurassic Park, Wayne Knight's shaving cream that he used oh. to smuggle dinosaur oh, yeah. embryos right. in Jurassic Park, quarter of a million. Oh. 250000 wow. to have that shaving cream that thing. That's so sweet. Scary. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. But think about this. This is double. Wow. Half of the amount of that uh, shaving cream can... Jack Nicholson's axe from The Shining, $125,000. Oh, well, oh, Wouldn't you rather have the axe? Yes. 100%. That's Absolutely. an all-time movie prop. Put that up on the wall and then yeah. And I like the it. movie Jurassic Park more than I like The Shining, I've but in terms of actual props, I want the axe. Yeah, well, they have right. at the Dyna Theater, they have the recreated, you know, a, the uh, that the scene from the, the Shining. Right. The, the typewriter and all oh, the papers around so it. Cool. It's phenomenal. Uh, Toby Maguire's black suit from Spider-Man Three, hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. That twenty-four. That's. I mean, you got to be a nerd to want that one because that movie was pretty bad. Uh, Kate Winslet's uh, Kate Winslet's dress from Titanic, one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. But the other reason why this uh, kind of uh, auction is going viral is the door mm-hmm. from Titanic, seven hundred and eighteen thousand dollars for that door. Wow, the floating door. Marty, would you win? buy that? Wow. Uh, not for that cost, no. Okay. No. I'm just trying to bring in the conversation. You're so quiet. She's being polite. But, uh, don't do that. A lot of voices. I'm just letting everybody you hear have me? the floor. You, you hearing voices? <laughs> 73% of millennial parents think they're doing a better job than their own parents uh, did. Well, that's, isn't that every generation, though? Isn't the whole point is you think you're doing a better job uh-huh. than your parents, and then you realize... You made different mistakes, but you made mistakes. Amen, and then brothers. Your, and then your kids will try What's to fix that, your mistakes, uh, and Cor- they'll <laughs> make mistakes. That was Terry. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right, Cor. That is the truth. Well said. The pendulum swings, right? You just try to fix uh, mm-hmm. the previous generation's wrongs. Yep. Could I ask a question here? Oh, I've been, sure. in, I've been it's encouraged time for you to, to talk. speak. Yeah, okay. Please, okay. please. I, Rosie, is it okay? I never have a problem okay. with you talking. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> On the air. Uh, it's just the other ones. <laughs> follow, follow up to your story about the auction items from movies. 
where do you think they are kept for 20 some years? Like, where was yeah. the axe from The Shining? Where mm. was the bowling ball? Where do they exist, and why do they just sit in storage until, Fantastic oh, in question. March of 2024, let's have an auction? Fantastic I, question. And who decides when these go up for auction? Like, okay. do the movie studios own all of these things and just say, all right, let's sell the door. We've been holding on to it since 1997. Right, and you could, I don't you know. could who sell. Who makes that decision? Who gets the from money? From a big movie, you could sell almost everything, yep. especially if it was prominent in a scene. Sure. Oh, here's the yeah. fake car window that Kate Winslet put her hand on here where you're selling the glass. Right, here's Elastigirl's bodysuit or whatever. Like, oh, I'm just throwing you know, things out there. That's not a real... Uh, what about, like, uh, so Kevin McAllister's BB gun right. in Home I, Alone? That would a, be sweet. I have an answer. Right. How about Go. the Red Rider BB gun in uh, that's the so Christmas right. Story? That's the worst film of all time. Oh, buddy, please don't not say that. That's right. No, it's an awful just mean. film. It's just mean. I'd rather watch a snuff film starring my mom I'd rather and dad watch one starring you. Oh. Do you know what a snuff film is? Yeah, it's where they put a bunch of things on a table and smell them. Yep. That's a sniff film. Oh, hockey is yeah. I, ended up a, I, I uh, what? recently ended up at a friend's house who had... A snuff material? No. Ended up with the hat that Tom Hanks wore <laughs> in the Polar Express, which was really Are cool. Are you serious? Yes. I'm, ended that's a cartoon. Up with it? Well, he... Yes, yes, he, he got you, did, you know that was an animated film, correct? Yes, I, well, I did it, but he actually... A couple people at work Bro, wore see. a hat. You, you're getting catfished. You no, I'm not. Too. No, I saw the hat. I saw it. <laughs> And I touched it. I have a was, jar. Hey, was Woody from Toy Story's hat there, too? <laughs> Jersey, you should come over to my house. On my coffee table, I have a jar of sand from Africa from the movie The Lion King. Really? Absolutely. That's wow. cool. I have yes. some water from The Little Mermaid. Unbelievable. Oh, I you have guys the, have a much better stuff God, you're than gullible. I do. I have the mystery <laughs> wish giver guy from Big. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's the uh, Zoltar machine, and that was not an animated movie. You're just you're bad at this. Um, I actually do have an answer. Wish giver guy. I was telling you guys the uh, about that podcast, uh, Everything is Alive. Oh, yeah. Uh, in one of the episodes, they interviewed a light post, and this light post's hero was the light post from Singing in the Rain. And the interesting thing was the actual light post from Singing in the Rain mm -hmm. was stored where they store all the movie props. Uh, at each individual studio, they have a prop storage area. Vault. Like a vault. Exactly right. I need to rob one of those. And one day, um, a guy, this is a true story, there was a dude who was working on the set who was in there just moving things around and he saw the light post mm. and said, that thing's been sitting here for 50 years. Could I just have that? And the guy who was running the prop department goes, you've been working here for a long time? Sure, go ahead. So he takes it home. He puts it in his front yard. True story. All this is true. You can look it up. Puts oh it in his front God. yard. Somebody steals it. Of course they did. Of course uh, they did, because yeah. you shouldn't put that in your front yard. No. Right. But the but point he, is... He advertised well, yeah, that that's what it was? Because or or otherwise, why would you steal he, a random I, I light post? I think he post. put a plaque or something like that saying uh, this is what this it was. This guy's an idiot. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. But I can't believe they oh. just gave that to him. It's right. the actual one where the dude swings around a Gene Kelly and singing in the rain. Mm -hmm. um, so there there are giant warehouses where they keep all the props. Let's and, rob one of them. That's my heist. Well, that's yeah. what the argument is, where... Yeah, yeah. I well, mean, they left the, the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah, and they and melt the still there. Do you assume everything is in some type of uh, preservation? Oh, I would. I like wrapped up or I in a box so. or yeah. temperature glass control. case. Yeah, and then would right. it need to be labeled? Probably. If, if it's just a random sure stick. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Yep, I'm with you. Yeah, right. I would yeah. say it's. I mean, I, that's um, yeah. that's kind of a fascinating thought of yeah. the iconic movies and uh, the memorabilia from them. Where yeah, is it? I, I, I know, know, and I hear that they're um, from time to time, um, like when a show ends its run, <laughs> that <laughs> yep. uh, that um, oh boy. that um, people uh, take things from the set and kind of steal them. Like Jennifer Anderson was talking about it on the podcast mm -hmm. with right. the uh, mm -hmm. um, what they took from Friends. Yeah, what she took from Friends. Well, about a week ago, I was at a buddy's That's house. Oh God, he had Tim Allen's helmet that he wore in Toy Story. Okay, see, that was a good, good job. See, good. He, 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 he had to come back to. Don't it, look it at good. me like that, Rosie. It wasn't Tim Allen, though, was his... It was Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, but that's yeah. a cartoon. Like it is a cartoon. Said. You're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> you. I see the connection. I, yeah, I see you. how you did that. Thanks, Mark. Mm -hmm. There you go. Wobble, wobble. Is that all you got, buddy? Uh, let's see here. Do I care about this? Do I care about that? No. Hang on. Um, hmm. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, a 42-year-old was trying to uh, climb Mount Everest. 
But. <laughs> yeah, it, cha- it takes a turn. Uh, she was uh, taking part in a charity hike to base camp. She was FaceTiming with her family when she got savagely gored by a yak. Oh, my God. What? Rosie. Sounds like she's going to be okay, but uh, if you had savagely by yak. gored by a yak on your bingo card, you're the winner. Yards after catch? <laughs> her family was watching on FaceTime. Can you imagine oh, the helplessness? God. Well, they were given the option. You're either going to watch this lady get gored or you're going to watch a Christmas story, and they all picked... <laughs> Savagely gored yeah, by I'd, a yeah. I'd rather watch that. After uh, during the Viking season last year. Oh, okay. that was a clever joke. That was funny. Somebody sure. give him a, a joke. Good a laugh. Yeah, Corey. Uh, Nobody. Pretend he's funny. Oh, I'm too tired to care. Wow. Oh, you're so sleepy. Well, no, not really. Cried. <laughs> We're just getting old. Oh, it's about, speaking we'll of getting old. Truth. Yes, sir. This is a non sequitur. It's not interesting or compelling, That's but I already bit. started my well, sentence, and there's here, no then. turning back. Bring that ass in here. The other day, I'm walking through the old house, and I think it was on TBS. Friends was on. An episode of Friends that I hadn't seen in a long time was on. Do you guys remember the episode where Giovanni Ribisi played Phoebe's younger brother? I think it was Frank, right? Yeah. You guys remember mm-hmm. this? Marty, yeah. you're a Friends fan. Do you remember he, he was had, in a lot, a lot of episodes. A lot of episodes. Yeah. Do you remember he starts dating and eventually marries his teacher? Do you remember that? So there was a giant age gap. Okay. I had forgotten that he, I think at the time, was supposed to be playing an 18 or 19 or 20-year-old kid. And he's about to marry his much older teacher. And everybody else in the group is disgusted by the age gap. They're thinking he's making a huge mistake. And it's the lady who I think ended up being in um 70s show or something. I recognized her. I don't know her name, though. It's, a, it's an actress you might kind of remember. And then they said her age. How disgusting no she no. was. 35. She was 44. Oh, okay. And everybody on the show is like, oh, God. And, of course, I turned 44 in like three weeks. And, I, and I'm watching oh, this episode God. going, 44 is disgusting to Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, right. Lisa Kudrow. They're all like, oh, God, he's going to make a giant mistake. And I don't know. Maybe times yes. have changed, though. She's not yeah. 44 at that point. She looked like she was an uh, somebody's mother's librarian. You I'm know looking what I'm at the picture right now. Marnie just... Uh, right. yeah, it's the mom yeah, it from that 70s show. Yeah, it was the mom from that 70s show. show. Yeah, Deborah Jo Rupp. Yep, so yeah. she's yes. playing a 44-year-old. And, of course, you look on you know, Insta now, 44-year-old moms don't look like that. No. At least most of them don't. She, looked, but at she that looked point, like June Cleaver. Yeah, Paul, your hands up. Wood hockey. Of course. Is she looking for a man? <laughs> <laughs> Is she... I don't know. Answer Rosie. the question. Yes, she is. All right. Rosie, you've you been what? through a, a minute or two of life. Isn't that weird, though? Like, at, at that point, well, it was yeah. a huge mistake to date a 44-year-old. Just disastrous. Throw your life away dating a 44-year-old. Let me tell 100%. you. 100%. And now it's like, well, I'm not going to comment. No, I'm go ahead. No, no, like, no, what? no, no. I'm just saying its perception has, has changed tremendously. Um, and you always say, Rose, it's like wine. It ages. Wow. You say it like that. It, it or she or her. See, Rosie, that's the great thing about you at 18 and now <laughs> you, how old are you? 32. You at 18 or 72, you would kill for a 44-year-old. <laughs> Either way. Yeah, that's an overreaction, though. You don't have to kill anybody. You throw a <laughs> stranger <laughs> in front of a train for a 44-year-old. Man. That's better than Christmas Story. Come what on, is? buddy. Throwing people in front of trains. Murder. Sir, why you got to be oh, mean sure. to me? You what know is I this, House of movie. Cards? I normally don't disagree with you, Sauce, but that's a terrible That's take. a terrible it's take. It's an awful film. I, I, you it did is not like it. Highly entertaining. Tell I have Rosie. a major hatred for that. He does. He hates that film? movie. I hate a Christmas story. It's terrible. Oh. It ain't good. It? Thank you, Zacho. Oh, it's it's okay. terrible. It's, uh, oh, is that Cisco and Ebert over there? <laughs> <laughs> you guys should start a podcast. I got two thumbs for you, Cor. Oh, oh you wish. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Sauce has two Ooh. pinkies for me. Can you call him a third? <laughs> okay. All right. I don't like that movie. It's fine. Nobody's gonna die. <laughs> you guys want some stuff from me? Sure, yeah. Yeah. sure. Because I got guess? stuff for you. Rosie, you cool with that? One hundred percent. All right, let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> Feeling too busy can damage your brain. Oh no! That's oh, according to perfect. a psychologist at Yale University. Yeah. See, your brain's great, saucy. Sauce is stress free. The rest of us are panicking. Right. They found feeling like you don't have time to do what you want Mm -hmm. can lead to something called time famine. Time famine can lead to poor work performance and burnout and is just as harmful to your mental health as being unemployed. You are reading my diary. I know. (laughs) 
This makes you less productive because you're less happy, and happier people typically live longer and healthier oh, lives. Son of a bitch. They but they do. say there are always ways I to address cried. it. Such as? Uh, including things... Uh, um, uh, including things on your calendar that really need to be there. And then uh, finishing those tasks early so you can celebrate it by doing nothing. Hmm. That's a good feeling. Yeah, right. Right. You get it done and then you give yourself a little time off. I'm not yeah. kidding. Look, I'm just holding it. This is my oh, list hey, of things to do. Mm-hmm. Boy, you and I, I have, have well played, well played. I have five things circled because those are the five that are done. One, two, three. It's yeah, like but 20. Three of those are touch myself. Yeah, three of those are <laughs> sitting on my head until it falls asleep. And then, yep. Well, the, the top one is MLB the show. That's my finish yeah. season. <laughs> wow. All season. Oh, so, man. you, when you finish something, you circle it? Yeah. You don't cross it off? You circle it? I'm a circler. I cross. No kidding, you're a circler. Interesting. Yeah, weird. we knew that. Yeah, that's first, weird, man. Target. That's Here's my list of things to do you're today. Free. <laughs> Just a picture of MLB the show. <laughs> <laughs> Big day for you. Hey. Are you in the playoffs yet? Almost. Are you going to make the playoffs? Oh, yeah. Of course. I think I'm. Now, I've simulated the majority of them. I think I'm 70 and 9. There we go. Why? Oh, man. Right, Max? Oh, so, oh, yeah. Video games are meant to just put super teams together. Yeah, it's not especially, real life. especially sports games. Yes. Yeah. And MLB yes. the show is too hard if you don't have a superstar it's team. It's impossible. Yeah. Uh, all my but players are 99. If yes, you duh. simulate, does that mean you're not playing? No. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a, it's a long season, Marnes. Yeah, it's 162 games. Okay. You know that, Marnes. I, I do know that, but that means you're just sitting and watching the machine. It, I mean, no, it, it doesn't play. automatically. It doesn't, it doesn't even seconds. play. It just tells you the results. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's well, so seconds. when do you play? Uh, you Key know, games. When, when his schedule loosens yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. When, <laughs> when he doesn't have to go outside, time. you know. During the big moments, Martin. Yeah, it's the best. It's isn't that what video games? Isn't that the beauty of them that you play them? No, then you get burned Marnie, out. Yeah, you don't get it. What am I missing? Come on, you got time with you. You know, you know what though? Back okay. to the actual story that Chris brought up. Yeah, that is the older <laughs> you get, it's the most impossible thing is to find a day to do nothing, nothing. where you have nothing on your list, no responsibilities, no meetings, no dinners, no kids activities. You just I have nothing. To do. It's called retirement. Yeah, it's, say Sunday whoa. was that way. Whoa! Grocery shopping, <laughs> made chili, watch basketball all Butt day. Bar. Nothing. That was <laughs> it. Chili. Oh, yeah. That was it. And the chili was, your, was your, a plus. Uh, was it chili hot? Chili was hot. Yeah, that's chili. a good feeling. Oh, yeah, rosy, this. rosy, no <laughs> rosy, rosy. Another thing I don't like: chili, gross. Chili's gross. All right, you went really? too far. Okay. I don't like the beans. Home. The beans are gross. Hold chili on. dogs. You know, you could really make chili a lot of different ways, including uh, without, sure, beans, without if beans. Without beans, sure. Or minimize beans. them. You don't have to put yeah. three cans of beans in there. Just be- I'd the rather watch a Christmas story than eat yeah, full on. Sauce is just oh, turning into Andy Rooney. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, you really who are. Who the hell's Andy Rooney? Is he the guy that owned the Steelers? <laughs> <laughs> Rooney? Is Art? that guy? Art Rooney. Oh, I'm sorry. That Notre Dame. Football player? Brilliant. <laughs> Zachary, you're funny. Rudy. Okay, I ruined uh, it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you ruined How it. How far in are you? Oh, my God. I hate that question. Lawrence. Who? When did she say that? <laughs> <laughs> no, <what? laughs> Good question, Marnes. It's a hell of outside. <laughs> so what the hell's going on outside? Sideways. What, what is on your schedule for today? Oh, my mic's off. Mine today. Yeah, yeah. exactly. What do we you have to do today? <laughs> yeah, you're like, definitely not. Um, Mike was not there off. is a lady that is working on a project at my house right now. Yeah. <laughs> so that involves you how? Hello. Um, <laughs> open I, the door. My, my job today is to uh, keep the dogs downstairs. God, you're going to fail. You add one, <laughs> <laughs> could you add something to your list of... Um, I'm not going outside of ta- this. I didn't even. I she was going to say, can you, you to take go outside? Photos Are you the project that lady's working on? <laughs> oh, <brilliant. laughs> I saw a photo of a wall, Tiger. like where you put um, some sort of wood and yeah, design yeah, yeah, and yeah, texture yeah. on it. And I didn't follow if that's what you were doing. Now I'm putting two and two together. Oh, I am very interested. Can you please? Yeah, Post correct. updates. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd I'm like not doing this that because it's a lot no, of math. No, you're just keeping dogs. I, I'm playing yes. MLB The Show today. If you want, really to want to know, I'm going to play MLB The Show. Well, I know you're dogs, more important and you have a lot to do. I don't. While the dogs sit on the couch next to you and you go, stay here. <laughs> That's yeah. my job. Are you watching? 
Yeah, that's it. And then I'll read some things, watch NFL Live, make dinner at 4.30, and call, call it a night. night. <laughs> call it a night. Go to bed at 8. I'm going to make Marge's house no to build a chill. fence. <laughs> oh. Make some no bean chili tonight. You're a good tonight. person, Ogs. Uh, Marnie, so we're going to see you on Friday morning, but we'll also see you Thursday yeah, night at Treasure Island Resort yeah. and Casino. Yeah, it's a two-day oh, extravaganza. I'm it not is. missing it. And they told me the slot machines are working. Let's so see. I'll oh, be there boy. for that. we got to see if we can recapture that Marnie T.I. magic from a couple of years ago. Let's do it. R.I.P. Chairs. <laughs> yeah. I broke one. You yeah, did. It's going to be fun. Thursday night, 7 to 9, then Friday morning, 5 30 to 9. Rosie, we'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Love you, right. Rosie. Love you too, baby. 9 to noon there, is next. We're back tomorrow at 5 30 on the fan. Rocket Club, Burnsville, Ames Theater, Saturday night. Come on out, everybody. Everybody have a wonderful day. You too, Abadabba.